Hello, my friends. Welcome to Breakfast with Sergio. This is episode number 145. And today I want to talk to you about five ways to avoid overworking your artwork. Five ways in which you can avoid overworking your artwork, which is something that happens very often to us in the studio. All right, my friends, super happy to be here with you on this episode number 145. Well, today's topic comes from Mega. Mega sent this uh, question to me, says, Sergio, can you talk about how to, you know, uh, stop overworking our art? You know, sometimes it happens that, you know, you are so en enthusiastic in the studio, you're working really hard on a particular painting or drawing or sculpture, where it is, and then you end up overworking it and therefore ruining the hard work or really maybe you didn't ruin it, but then you you came out to a, to a point where you're like, oh, it's just, I wish I had stopped earlier. So I'm gonna give you five ways, you know, five ideas, five strategies which you can use when you are at that point, like, should I continue or should I stop here? Should I move on or should I stop here? And at the end of the day, that's a, that's a uh, decision that you're gonna have to make in the studio. It's just your decision, but I'm gonna give you anyway, five strategies in which can help you to avoid overworking your art. So the first one that you can do, when you get to a point in the studio, uh, Mega, when you get to a point where you're like, should I continue? Should I stop right here? I'm kind of satisfied with this, but I think I can do a little bit more. What I suggest you do is you take a long break. Not a little five minute break, but actually take a long break. Maybe stop right there, go and do something completely different, go out of the studio, do another activity, something you have to do, go out for dinner, go for coffee, whatever it is, maybe just wait until the next day. And sometimes, you know, just giving yourself plenty of time to put your head and your eyes away from your artwork, coming back to it with fresh new eyes, fresh new energy allows you to make a better choice to either continue working on it or say, actually, this is good, this is great. I don't want to overwork the painting or the drawing or whatever it is that you're making. So one one strategy is to take a long break. And this is one that I have done quite often. It's one that I like to do myself a lot where I get to a point where I'm not sure if this is going to you know, go bad or it's going to uh, actually, this is the best state as it is now is I just take a break. I just take a break, come back the next day, walk into the studio and then make the decision then with fresh new eyes. Particularly for those of you who work in a more expressive way or in uh, in, in a more kind of a in the moment uh, way, uh, sometimes th those are the ones that sometimes are really hard uh, to you know to decide, and those are the ones that really easily can get overworked. So I would recommend take a break. Number two, second thing that you can do if you want to avoid overworking your artwork is take a picture of the work and the final state where it's at right now. And then just take another break, but study study the possibilities. You know, use that photograph to imagine different things. The advantage that we have now is we have technology, right? You can take a picture with your phone or with your camera. You can open it, download it to your computer, and then you can change colors. You can do edits, you know, just digitally, just to get an idea, right? Should I add this here? Should I add this over there? Uh, you can also, if you know, you don't have uh, some of these software, you can also just take the uh, artwork printed and then just get some uh, color pencils and then do some edits and see if you can come up with some ideas to see if it's actually going to look better or worse. So, you know, it, it, you can give yourself some time studying the different possibilities before you decide for the one that you want to continue or it maybe it's better to leave it as is. So that's my number two. Take a picture, study it, and do some, um, you know, exercises of figuring out what's the best option for you. Number three, another good one, is to turn the artwork upside down or to get a mirror and look at the reflection through the mirror. Sometimes, again, just looking at the work in a different way kind of gives you a, a better understanding of the composition that you have, the balance that you have, right? What you're trying to create. Because you are creating the work and you are so familiar with it, you know it you know, by memory, because you've been looking at it for so long, it's sometimes really hard to catch, you know, things that may be missing or may not be right or, or could be improved. And sometimes, you know, that's a very easy practice to do. Just uh, turn it upside down or flip it. Or you can actually do it with your phone, you know, take take a selfie with the phone 
and then flip the image and then you know you can look at it in in a new perspective or in a new way in order for you to be able to, to say well i think this is good or no i need to tweak it here or there bring some more contrast here or some darkness some light or you know emphasize this or that whatever adjustments you need to make because you are looking at it in a different in a new way that's number three number four another the fourth idea you can use to override to avoid uh, overworking <laughs> sorry overworking your artwork is that realize that there's no such thing as perfection right adding more to it doesn't mean it's going to necessarily going to be better there's a point where uh, you when you know it gets to the point where you have to decide this is i think this is good enough this is this is what what i want to call it finish right uh there's not a specific you know way of measuring it but there's a point where you say well you know adding more to it is doesn't necessarily make it better you know more is not always the best more does not always the results in you know in better uh, or an improvement sometimes less is more as they say right so uh, you have to realize that just because you're going you want to add more time to it or more work to it doesn't necessarily it's going to be better or closer to perfection there's no such thing as that at some point as an artist we have to figure out what's enough and you know just adding more to it is not necessarily going to make it better and that's the hardest part that is the the one that particularly uh, emerging young artists have the hardest you know part uh, or the hardest decision to make uh, as you get older and you get more seasoned in your studio uh, work doesn't always get better you know you still have those questions even if you've been doing art for many many years you're still sometimes thinking about you know it, it's it, it's a done it's a done do i need to add more though you know or do i need to stop from adding more because this is this is good this is great and those are big decisions that only you can take you can have Again, uh, by giving yourself time, time to think, time to reflect, which that leads me to my number five. Again, the, I'm talking about the five ways to avoid overworking your artwork in the studio. So the fifth one that I recommend is just to sit in front of your art and let it speak to you. Now, this might sound kind of weird, but I think many of you know exactly what I mean. Of course, you're not gonna hear the painting or the drawing telling you something with an actual voice, but just letting it, you know, up your, you know, your brain, your mind absorb what you have at the moment, and and evaluating, evaluating what you have in front of you, and listen to your own intuition, listen to your own inside voice, listen to your own gut. Sometimes, you know, you kind of you feel like it's done and it's good, but then you're like, okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more. And then you realize that you actually ruined it. You overworked it. And it's like, well, if I had only listened to my intuition, right, to my God who said it was done and it's perfect the way it is, you know, instead of just listening to my brain who wanted to keep working, right, the, the enthusiasm of keep working that ended up ruining the artwork. And again, that has happened to me. So <clears throat> one of those reasons, I mean, one of those ways of uh, avoiding overworking your artwork is to sit down in front of it and give it time. Nobody is rushing you unless you're in a very tight deadline. Nobody is rushing you. Give yourself time, which is something that sometimes we uh, as artists, we don't give ourselves enough time to just listen, to look at the artwork and to just let the artwork speak to you. You know, let the artwork tell you what it needs, what it wants, what, uh, what are the elements that need to be added or removed in order to make it a better work of art. So my friend, I hope those uh, five ways to avoid overworking your work of art will help you. Uh, and uh, if you find this episode to be useful, please share it with a friend, share it with a friend. I will be very excited. If you are on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe. If you are on Instagram, don't forget to follow me at Sergio Gomez Projects. If you listen to it in the podcast, please also give us a review. Thanks so much. And I will see you in the next episode of Breakfast with Sergio. Goodbye.